Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Jeff Sexton for Standard & Poor's Insurance Ratings. Today I'm joined by Jason Porter, Associate Director in Insurance Ratings, for a talk about Superstorm Sandy, the industry losses for the insurance industry, and the potential ratings impact. Jason, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. Jason, let's start off with a broad question. Superstorm Sandy, what makes it unique? Superstorm Sandy was a combination of a hurricane and a nor'easter. And when these two storm systems combined, they created a much larger storm, which while uh, the wind speeds lower to something less than a hurricane, the, the size of the storm greatly expanded, and it was almost a thousand miles in diameter, which really um, pushed a lot of water um, on, onshore and created a lot more destruction over a larger area of land than a typical storm would have. In thinking about that destructive path of the storm, we've heard a great deal about losses. What were some of the surprises with regards to insurance industry losses? Um, there's a number of sources of uncertainty and um, not necessarily surprises, but uncertainty like business interruption insurance, uh, difficult to assess, um, highly uncertain. Flood losses are notoriously difficult to assess as well. Some of the policy language within these po uh, commercial policies with flood and business interruption coverage are also um, different from policy to policy, making large macro um, loss estimates difficult. But uh, there were a couple surprises as well, one being auto insurance losses much higher than a uh, typical hurricane would be, and also the um, estimates for industry loss warranties or the trigger points um, might behave a little bit differently than they might expect them to be. Well, we've heard a great deal about the losses uh, for the insurance industry with regards to housing and construction and physical structures. What have and how big are the losses for auto insurance with regard to industry losses? Well, we're estimating right now that losses could be at least $3 billion. Unlike uh, your typical property uh, coverage, the flood coverage is included in the comprehensive uh, part of an auto insurance policy. Now, the massive amount of flooding and storm surge caused by Hurricane Sandy uh, affected a lot of cars. And if you look at some of the benchmarks, people or insurance um, insiders typically think flood losses or hurric auto losses within a hurricane would be only a couple of percent of the total loss. But if th the losses are $3 billion and the industry losses are 20, uh, which uh, is about the midpoint of where a lot of current expectations are, that could be 15% instead of say maybe 2%, which would be a previous assumption. Mm, so a much higher percentage of the overall insurance industry losses than in other cases. Um, Talking about that now, what exactly are insurance industry loss warranties and how are they affected? Insurance industry loss warranties are a type of reinsurance that uh, insurance companies can buy where they get paid not on their actual claims but on whatever the industry loss figure uh, is determined to be. Um, a typical trigger point for these contracts are about $20 billion and and the, one of the more common organizations to choose the ult official industry loss estimate uh, is Property Claims Services, uh, known as PCS. And uh, the one issue that has come to the fore with Sandy is that the large number of flood losses and, and the damage to a lot of infrastructure and to commercial properties, uh, ha you'll see losses on insurance policies that were not written in the United States but were actually directly written by non-U.S. insurance carriers. Now PCS um, might not get all of that data because the methodology they use to come to their final loss figure might not include those claims in placed in, in, from in policies placed in international markets. So what might happen is that the, act, the official figure might be lower than the actual losses. Now, with a $20 billion trigger point and the midpoint of the loss estimates coming in around $20 billion, uh, you know, a small difference in those estimates might be the difference between an insurance company getting reinsurance pains or not. Well, bearing in mind those points as well as the updated insurance industry losses numbers, what could be the potential rating impact? Well, as far as we can see right now, the potential ratings impact is fairly limited. With $20 billion of losses and from the discussions we've had with various insurance companies, we think that the losses are typically going to be less than one year of earnings. For reinsurers, uh, they're going to have a pretty bad fourth quarter, but 
Um, overall, they had a, a pretty good year, especially companies uh, with that right property. Catastrophe reinsurance, there's been relatively few catastrophes or large catastrophes earlier in 2012. For insurance companies, the large national companies have very big balance sheets and very big books of business, and they could absorb this type of an event. Um, the regional companies that are focused in the Northeast region, they all see a little heavier impact, but so far we don't think that there's going to be a large number of regional companies that are going to be severely detrimented by Hurricane Sandy. All in all, we're going to continue to monitor losses if they do develop outside of what we expect right now or if any single company is adversely affected more than another. We could uh, take ratings action if their losses come out to be more than a year's worth of earnings and five, in, in addition to that 5 to 10 percent of capital. With these new numbers, do we still see this as an earnings event for the industry as opposed to a capital event? Yes. With the current expectations, we consider this to be more of an earnings event than a capital event. But if it becomes a capital event for any one individual company, then we might reassess their rating. With that, I'd like to thank Jason Porter for joining us for this discussion of the impact of Hurricane Sandy on the insurance industry. And from Standard & Poor's, thank you and take care.